up, Tube Nation? I am currently in my office, and today has been a day. Today was so weird. Not weird, it was honestly amazing, but I'm just trying to process everything that happened. If you guys watched my last video, I talked a little bit about how I was reuniting with Will for the first time in a year, and today we saw each other, and I was so fucking nervous. We ended up staying at this restaurant for like five hours, just catching up, and it was so therapeutic, and it was just so healing, I think, on both ends. It was amazing. I like showed in my new place. We watched an MMA fight, Conor McGregor. It was so platonic, and it was so wholesome like it was genuinely sweet and pure so much so to the point where i cried after he left because i'm just so blessed that i get to like move forward with him as a friend it was really good but also it was a lot to deal with i'm also leaving for miami not miami i'm going to orlando tomorrow with katie's family and i'm really excited about that but my flight boards in like three hours and i'm really hungry I'm, i have a really long flight i'm gonna take you guys into the kitchen with me so we can make some food this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I got some tasty HelloFresh food right out here. And I can hear Benito crying for me. Benito, I'm sorry. This is my One Direction poster that Christelle got for us. No. I hate shotgunning shit. What is in my teeth? Benito. I literally take him off the counter and then I turn my back and he's back on the counter in 0.5 seconds, Benito. This is my kitty, Benito. He just doesn't know better. And of course, the washer machine is just going right now. I'm making the chicken penne limon. All right. And I'm really excited. I actually genuinely love HelloFresh meals. I get them sent to me all the time. Let's get into it, baby. I need to like lower the angle so you guys can see what I'm doing, but also I still want you guys to see my face. How am I gonna do this? Are you guys ready for the most epic meal of all time? <laughs> Cause I know I am. I don't know why I'm treating it like it's a makeup product because guess what? It's not makeup. <laughs> I got my cucumber and oh. I just love HelloFresh because I'm not that good at cooking and they just send you all of the ingredients and so many recipes, there's so many that you can choose from every week that can help you break out of your cooking rut. Next we're gonna cut open this little cucurbitaceae um, plant. <laughs> I'm not kidding, it's actually called cucurbitaceae, look it up. Um, and <laughs> We're gonna put it in a pan, y'all. And this dinner right here only took me a total of like 20 minutes. And HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping. All of their ingredients and meals are so easy to prepare. And it just saves a lot of time. And they're just really quick and easy options. Next, we're gonna go ahead and widen our nostrils and just go ahead and smell every single smell. Go ahead and get loose with this. Let your nostrils just feel every sensation, okay? Let your nose hairs kind of sizzle a little bit and tinkle a little bit. Tinkle? <laughs> I meant twinkle. And guess what, y'all? HelloFresh can help you eat more sustainably because HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less prep for you and less wasted food. Isn't that beautiful? And guess what? HelloFresh ain't no gymnast, but she sure is flexible, okay? They just go ahead and fit every lifestyle, okay? You can add extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order. You can throw in extra proteins if you're feeling crazy. Or add in yummy meal compliments. And my favorite is definitely the garlic bread. I munch munch on that every single night. <laughs> and I'm about to eat some after I'm done with this. And y'all, HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever. And they have been going above and beyond to take the extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe because they care. 
make sure y'all go to hellofresh.com and use my code sarahbaska14 to get 14 free meals yes i said 14 free meals including free shipping okay that is a bargain if you ask me make sure you click the link in the description thank you hellofresh for sponsoring what's up everyone i'm on my way right now oh my god the sun i am on my way to pick up my new computer okay that's better but not for you guys i should be wearing sunglasses right now but i'm not why am i not wearing sunglasses i'm wearing sunscreen but it's not screening my eyes my nicotine gum, ew. I'm two weeks, almost three weeks, vape free or like puff free, but I am still chewing on nicotine gum. It's helping a lot. It's really gross. Nicotine gum is disgusting. I don't know how it works, but it does help with cravings. I know there's nicotine obviously in the gum and I am or was addicted to nicotine or still am obviously because I'm chewing the gum. It's obviously not the same oral fixation, but it's helping with the oral fixation. Something else that's been helping is I bought these suckers, hundreds of suckers in my room. And whenever I sense myself needing to like pick up the puff, I just pull out a sucker and it really helps. Also, I have a bruise right here and it hurts. I don't really know why I have this bruise. I don't remember what I did. I cannot keep my train of thought right now. I am so excited to pick up my new computer. I just bought the new iMac and I got it in the color green because they're doing colors now which is so exciting. My computer right now is not working with me. I think it might be from all of the times that I illegally downloaded music for my YouTube videos and like sound effects and my laptop has been in the shop for three weeks also because my laptop also stopped working. I don't know why my all of this shit just happened all at once. I got to a breaking point today and I honestly just went on the Apple store and just bought it and I'm about to pick it up. I feel like a little kid on Christmas who's about to get a new toy. I just arrived at the mall. I paid for it online so all I have to do is pick it up and I'm ah, a new toy and it's a tax write-off so I don't feel guilty about my purchase. It's my job. Oh, Red Robin. Fuck, that sounds so good. Where's the Apple store? Don't walk in front of me. Don't walk in front of me. And a Buffalo Wild Wings. Shit. Where do I park? Oh, fuck yes. No, please don't take that spot. Please don't take it. No. One guy pulled out and he was right in the front. This bitch came up and she swerved right in front of me and she gave me the most evil, sinister smile. <laughs> I'm just gonna park in the very back. Dude, I can't park in the very back. I'm gonna be carrying a huge ass computer. Damn it! <laughs> Turns out I wasn't even in the right spot. Kind of a blessing I didn't get that parking spot. That guy's carrying an apple bag. Dude, really? Oh, period. All right, the parking spot has been secured. I'm right on time. I'll see you guys in a second. We're at the mall. Sorry about the angle. I'm insecure about filming myself in public. That's one thing I am insecure about. I don't want to be this bitch. Hey guys. No. I'm keeping you at a chin distance. Oh, and with my mask on, people won't even realize that I'm talking to myself. Okay, where's the Apple store? If I were the Apple store, Where the fuck is it? I'm on the wrong level. Gotta go down the escalator. We're going down, down, in and in and Sugar, we're going down, swinging. I'll be a number one with a hoodie. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna strap you in, but I don't even think I can. Can I? Cooperate! Oh my God, it won't even fit. You're just too big and bad. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna lay you flat. But I wanted you guys to like see her so it's dramatically in the background. But I'm too scared that I'm gonna drive too fast. But just know that she's back here. I feel so much better about myself. I feel so much better about my life. You're so cute! I am 35 minutes away from home. I went on a journey to adopt this little booger. You're mine now! Wow, what a dopamine release. I honestly feel like 
My last iMac, still in my office, just broke up with me. I've had her for years. We made some incredible content together. My, my computer was crashing and being, it just crashed. Again. She's been with me through everything, through everything. And then now she just like can't handle it anymore. Okay, I'm being transferred to another technician. It's just too much for her. What happened? So, Every single time I would edit, it would say system overload. Like, sorry that I have a lot going on in my life, but you can't take it or like be there for me. But now I moved on. Isn't that right? Okay, now we're going home and I need to figure out how to go home. So I'm gonna plug in my home on the maps because I don't know where I am. Look at me getting out of the house and doing something good for myself. Look at me taking control of my life. Like, love it. What should we name him? Or her. It might be a her. We'll do a little unboxing when we get home. <gasps> so, you better not be honking at me. Ouch. 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 That's not normal, right? Your shoulder should not be cracking like that. Sorry, trigger warning for anyone. What? Do you like my angsty tattoo on my middle finger right now? Heartbroken. I just got broken up with today. By my iMac. Okay, this lighting rocks now. I'm in traffic, so that's why I can look over at you guys. So I did some really great things for myself this week. The first thing that I needed to do was I needed to call a neurologist and get my feet under control. Every single time I lay down in bed, my feet feel like they're on fire, which isn't normal. The first year of that happening, I just like kind of got used to it because I just thought that my feet would get hot at night, but then it started to like tingle and it felt like pins and needles. The doctor had no idea, ran a bunch of tests on me. They always say I'm fine. None of my doctors took it to the next step. It was just always just confusion. And it kind of discouraged me for a little bit. But then a few weeks ago, I was like, no, I'm going to find someone that's gonna figure it out. It feels like nerve damage. When I was in high school, I remember one instance where I noticed it for the first time. During the summertime, freshmen going into sophomore year, and you had to do like volleyball training doubles, which is like two practices every single day. It was horrible. And that was during the summertime. So I haven't officially gone to the new school yet. So I was still like getting to know all the girls on the volleyball team. I knew a lot of the girls from club volleyball, which is like off season volleyball. So I knew a lot of them. I played with a lot of them before, but it was still really fucking intimidating because I knew that the varsity coach was looking at me because I was the new girl. I was the transfer. The coach put me as an outside hitter. That's the position that I've always played. And I just remember I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to be an outside hitter on varsity. This is sick. And then one day during practice in the summer, the coach was about to finalize the teams. I practiced with the varsity girls all of August. I knew that I was going to get on varsity. And then one day during practice, we had to do these like little boot camp obstacles in the gym. And there was this one specific exercise. It's like a rope and then you have to like jump through each little square, but we had to do like high knees as fast as we can. But for some reason, I could not do that drill for the life of me. It was so painful. I just remember, dude, oh, this burdens in my brain. It was so embarrassing. The senior girls were the ones that were running the drill because the senior girls are seniors, so they're on varsity. So they were all standing there watching. And I remember this one bitch saw me struggling. I was the only one struggling with it. They're like, okay, all right, Baska, light on your feet. Baska, Because every single time my foot would come down the impact was so loud in the gym. It was so embarrassing. Like I literally felt like I was like a jolly giant just like stomping around. It would make such a crash. I could not get up off my, oh, it was, 
and they were just like, Baska, light on your feet, Baska. And I'm like, I'm literally trying. I don't know what the fuck was happening. They were putting a lot of pressure on me because like I was the one that the coach was looking at. After that drill, my feet started cramping so bad. So I like ran out of the gym, I was crying and I took my feet took my feet off. I took my shoes off. The insides of my feet on the sides, there were three balls. They looked like golf balls, swollen. Um, they were throbbing. They were red. They were like twitching. And I was like, what the fuck? I didn't feel like a human. I felt like I got bit by an insect and I was turning into an insect or like a creature. <laughs> It didn't feel like I had feet. It was scary. And I just remember one of the senior girls who was really nice. She was so nice to me. She came out, she saw me crying. She was like talking to me. I like showed her my feet. She was like, oh fuck, I'll go get the coach. And I'm like, what the fuck? Really? And they were gonna be picking the teams in a few days. I remember crying to my mom about it. I was like, I suck today. I wasn't good. My feet were freaking out. And my mom's like, it's okay. Let's just ice your feet. If you've ever been in an ice bath, it is excruciating. <laughs> it wasn't like an injury, I don't think. I don't fucking know. But yeah, basically, long story short, I went to practice, coach sat everyone down and read off the names for varsity. I didn't make the team, even though that's like literally one of the reasons why I transferred to that school. But I was on like backup. I was on the JV team. But if they needed me for whatever reason, then I would go play with them. Even during practices too, they would always have me go and play with them. So I'm like, why am I not just on the team? And like during tournaments and shit, if the outside hitter was sick or if the libero was sick, anyone from the back row was sick, cause I could play any position besides setter. I can't, I can't. My sister was a setter. I can't do that. I'm too aggressive. I had to quit my junior year because my feet it was just getting really bad. And when I work out, I jog and I run, and that doesn't make my feet flare up. It's only when I'm like jumping and when I'm sprinting really fast. So exercising has always been fine. But then as of a few years ago, it would start flaring up when I would just lay down in my bed and try to go to sleep. And that's when I started getting concerned because it was doing the same thing. And when I'm laying down, it's just constant numbness and prickly feelings. Um, so yeah. I just really went on a tangent there because I feel like there's an underlying issue here. Maybe this is why I have brain fog a lot of the time, why my depression gets so bad. Like maybe there's like actually something going on that I'm just not treating. I found this one guy, I went the other day and whenever I go into doctor's offices in general, I just get nervous and clammy and I get anxiety. It's the fluorescent lightings in there. It's just the environment of a doctor's office in general. Like, I don't know, I get so clammy. So I'm sitting there and he's taking my blood pressure and I get nervous because I, I have like performance anxiety. Like I need to prove to this man, I don't have high blood pressure, but me thinking about that will make me have high blood. Or maybe I just do in general. They're like, huh, it's pretty high. Are you nervous? Like this guy literally said that to me. And I'm like, um, kind of. And he literally made me take five deep breaths and we had to do it again. I'm like, this is making it worse. Now you just called me out. Now I know that I have high blood pressure on the monitor. Now I'm really going to try harder to not have high blood pressure. You see what I'm saying? And then he was like, huh, okay, we'll make a note of that. And then the actual doctor comes in. First of all, he comments on my bruise and I have a few bruises on my legs. He was like, what's going on at home? And I'm like, oh my God, nothing. He's like, you're not being, would you? And I'm like, oh my God, no. I honestly think that I just am not taking enough vitamin C. Like I'm not getting enough vitamin C, so I'm bruising really easily. I mean, I get it. If y'all saw my legs right now, like it makes sense why he asked me that. And I, I swear I'm not being abused. And then I also have this massive scar on my leg from my birthday a few years ago. I've talked about this on the podcast. It looks like a tiger clawed me and it's still there. He asked me about that. And I'm like, oh my God, it's from my birthday. I just got too drunk. And he was like, okay. And I was like, what? 
the fuck, dude? He was like questioning my well-being, which is nice. And I understand he's a doctor. He needs to know these things, but damn. But it was fine. Like he was really, really nice. I fucking loved him actually. Felt like a dad energy. But I also felt like when I was explaining myself, it almost seemed like I was lying. I was in my head and I was like, does he think I'm like lying about not being abused right now? But whatever, this is just, this. y'all get to see my anxiety firsthand. Anyway, he had to do like a bunch of different tests with me. He literally, he had me stand up. I had to balance on each leg with my eyes closed. He was like testing out different parts of my brain, I guess. He told me to close my eyes and he was like, okay. He's like, I'm gonna push you around a little bit. I just wanna like see how your balance is. Because I've been telling him that I've been getting dizzy lately, like when I wake up. <laughs> like I would just be standing there with my eyes closed and then he would just push me and I'd be like, uh. I'm like, okay, and I would like get back. And then he would like, it wasn't hard. It was just like light pushes. Like he wasn't like fucking beating me up in there. He was just like kind of pushing my body around and like shifting my weight and seeing like how I would bounce back from it. And he was like, you're definitely a very clumsy person. And I'm like, okay. And then he like got out this like metal tool and he was like hitting my kneecaps and he was like hitting my feet and he was testing out all of these nerve points on my feet. And then he told me to lay down and I was laying down on my back. He came behind me and he like took my neck like this, did this pressure point. He was like, now does your feet react at all to me doing this? And my feet reacted. Every single time you would press down on my neck, my feet would start tingling. Then he was like, oh shit. And I was like, um, what? And then basically he was like, so I don't want to freak you out, but this is very unusual, especially for people your age to be experiencing these symptoms. He said something that really fucking freaked me out, but I think that he was just trying to prepare me for the worst case scenario, but he sent me to an x-ray place, a radiologist to get x-rays. So I took the x-rays. Basically, we're going to look over the x-ray pictures tomorrow morning. I have another appointment with him tomorrow morning. We're gonna see what my spine and my lumbar look like. If everything looks normal, then he's just gonna do a bunch of tests on me for other different things. And it's just a fucking process. I honestly think it, it's probably just an autoimmune disease of some sort that we just need to test for. All of that's gonna happen tomorrow. So I'll keep everyone updated on that. I was really scared and like just freaked out after that appointment in general, because he also said to my face, I don't know what's going on. I don't have the answers today. And just hearing that from another doctor, like this is like the seventh doctor I've gone to and like the third neurologist that I've gone to and just hearing that again was so discouraging. But then he said after that, he was like, but we're going to figure this out and I will not stop until we figure out what's going on and we treat it. And I'm like, okay, cool. Because no other doctor said that. And I didn't want to tell you guys because I didn't want to freak you guys out. But I'll try to vlog some of that tomorrow. Just keep you guys updated on the whole situation. This is what's been going on in my life. So just trying to be real. Um, it's been really challenging. Pity party's over. I got a new computer. And that's another reason why I got this computer. Cause I'm like, I gotta do something nice for me. This is good. I'm making moves. I pulled the bandaid off, went to the doctor, even though I'm nervous as fuck about what's wrong with me, but I'm getting my health figured out. I'm getting my career figured out with this new computer. We're getting our fucking life together, baby. Let's do it. Just look at her. Look at her. Okay, bye. Okay. Gonna do an unboxing. Let's fucking do it. The packaging. I'm like scared I'm gonna fuck it up somehow. Oh, yes. Let me point this down. Mr. Worldwide. This is a crunch. When I try to make it artsy. This packaging. A mission. But let's do it. Oh. <laughs> All I had to do was lip flap. Oh my God. I got the green iMac and it came with a green keyboard. Can't really see it yet. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at her. And I guess it comes with like a touch ID, like a fingerprint ID to unlock it or to get into the, oh, that's so sexy. What else do we have? Looks like a power cord and it's also green. Look how cute. It's like a seafoam green. 
You know what I mean? Oh, the mouse, bitch. Let's go. It's green underneath. That is beautiful. So this is my old demon of a computer who broke my heart. I want you all to see what I'm working with here. Literally, what? Why can't I right click and eject it? I don't know. Let's move her out of the way. Fuck you. I literally am so happy to never look at you ever again. <laughs> oh my God, she's so lightweight. She's so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so fun. Wow. Oh my God, if I just tip that over. Hello. Do you see how much nicer? This is so much better energy. Hello, darling. I'm your new mommy. Welcome to my office. Welcome to my home. Oh my God. So satisfying. Mm. Well, okay, I'll give Apple credit. They really know how to package their shit. This is such a fun experience. Let's uh, peel this baby off. Ooh, bitch. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, fuck. Bonjour! This is giving me the best vibes ever. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's saying it in every language. This is kind of a random, abrupt cutoff. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. And I just wanna give a big shout out to Paige. She helped me edit this video. She killed it. I just thought that this was the best move right now because as you guys can see, I'm not pumping out content as much as I should. And I need an editor because I go crazy while editing. Um, it takes me so long to edit. And Paige got this done in a few days and we love her. And I hope that you guys liked it too. You guys better like it because you're gonna get more content from me, so. My next video that I will be posting next week is part two of my health journey. So I just like figure out my results, figure out what's actually wrong with me, and we just kind of go deeper in it. And yeah. And then the next video after that is my Florida vlog. Woo! With Katie's family. It's a really, really good video. Y'all, I got the content lined up. Don't you worry about it. I am not going MIA for a while. You're getting fed. Get your forks out, not pitchforks. Cause I'm making con, I'm posting content, bitch. And before I leave today, I do have an announcement. As you guys know, I did a spiritual retreat with my life coach, Joy Grayson. It was amazing. I went into depth um, on my podcast, RIP, but I went into full depth about that experience and it was life changing. It was one of the best weekends of my life and the reaction has been incredible. And we built this really beautiful, loving community. And I'm just so grateful and blessed that I got to even do that and experience that with you guys who got to go. Joy and I were thinking, we gotta do a part two, bitch. We gotta do a part two. So Joy Cella 2 is coming soon and we're announcing the date this Sunday, August 1st. Joy and I are going live on my Instagram. We have a contest and I had Joy send me a little video. So she's gonna pop in right now. Take it away, Joy. Hello, lovelies. Hi. It's Joy Grayson. If you don't know me, you should. I am the founder of the School of Joy. I teach people how to raise their spiritual frequency, their emotional frequency, their physical frequency, so they can enjoy their best lives, live their fulfilled purpose, and connect to their highest selves. Been working with Sarah for years now. We just love each other, and we love each other so much that we created a retreat in June called Joy Cella, a festival where we learned how to love ourselves, how to calm down and stop being socially anxious and crawl out of whatever's stopping us and move forward into our dreams and our purposes. It was incredible. I had hundreds of people telling me it was literally the best weekend of their lives. Like that's 
no joke. It also was a concert. It was the first time Sarah Baska actually performed live uh, her original music and some covers. And we just had all kinds of performances and expression. So this time is even going to be better if that's even possible to conceive of. The first thing we want to do is tell you there is an artwork contest to create the poster. The official poster for Joy Cella 2 is going to be designed by you. By you. What we want is just an amazing color colorful poster that says Joy Cella with Sarah and my picture on it. Our picture on it. And whatever artwork you can create that you feel embodies what you want to experience in this retreat. What you want to and experience. in the link below this video, there's going to be a whole little contest kit that has elements like the Joy Cella logo with the font that we like and that we want to use. Picture of me and Sarah, maybe one or two other elements, and then you're free to just design design how you want that to look. Keeping in mind that this is a love festival. It has music. It has meditation. I want to see what you guys come up with. There are going to be three winners, first, second, and third place. The person that we feel like really captures the greatest essence of what Joy Cella means to us and what it feels like, you know, what we think really embodies it, is going to get a free VIP ticket to Joy Cella, get their artwork on merchandise that we're going to create for you this time. And it's going to be one of the virtual backdrops, as was this behind me. Second and third place winners are going to have virtual backdrop art that we're going to get to choose from that's going to go out to everyone. And they're going to get a general admission ticket to Joy Cella as well for free. We can't wait to see what you turn in. It's going to be a fast turnaround really quickly. And we're going to have the drawing a week from Monday. So the faster you get on this, if you're a designer, a graphic designer, an artist, just someone who loves to create, what do you have to lose? Just submit your submissions and then Sarah and I will go on live. We'll pick the winner. Keep your eyes peeled for more information. I cannot wait to see your submissions. Love you guys. Back to you, Sarah. Yes, bitch. And like Joy just said, submissions are due by August 8th. We're going for like a festival vibe, like Coachella vibe. It's called Joy Cella, y'all. So make sure that you click the link in my description if you want to enter that so you can get the templates and submit your artwork to this link. I will also post that in the description below. You gotta click that link in order to submit. We're gonna do an Instagram poll on August 10th of our top three choices and you guys are gonna pick the winners and then tickets are gonna go live on August 11th for the actual event can't wait to see what you guys make I love you guys so much I will see you next week for part two of my health journey and then my Orlando journey <laughs> the Orlando journey's fucking nuts you're gonna love Katie's family they're so much fun you guys are gonna love it so can't wait Bye guys.